Well, as we mentioned, the automotive automotive industry leaders from across the world are gathered in Detroit today for the start of, yes, the 2015 Auto Show already. Some big announcements and debuts have been announced. Matt Miller, our car guru here at Bloomberg TV, uh, is there at the Auto Show, and he's joined by Hulkon uh, Samuelson, the president and CEO of the Volvo Car Group. Matt? Yeah, Benny, thanks very much. Hakon, appreciate you joining us uh, here. You have so many new models uh, for Volvo. It, it's obvious that you're trying to do something here in the U.S. with all of these new cars. Yeah, we, of course, have uh, shown a very big commitment to the U.S. market. I think that's important. But, I mean, to have that message credible, I think you also have to back it up with a broader product offering. And that's really what we're doing here. We, of course, show the new XC90, all new car. But we are also demonstrating that some new very interesting products on the S60 range. We're expanding that. We have a higher, the sort of all-road S60. And, and we have a more luxury, longer wheelbase S60 inscription, which offer more leg rooms. I think those demonstrate really the, the way we are going to come back to growth here in the U.S. So I'm happy to see the, the taller S60 kind of going back to Volvo's rally car roots. You've got the Sport Wagon, which is the one I would choose. The X60, S60L is the one kind of making headlines this morning because people are talking about the possibility of re-importing it from China. So building it there and importing it here to the U.S. for sale. Mm. How possible is that? Yeah, and that car will be made in China, but I think it's very important to see it's not a Chinese car that we are exporting to the U.S. It's a, a new Volvo, primarily. Primarily, it's a new attractive offering for our customers in the U.S., and it's a way for us to come back to the volumes we need. But uh, it's a Volvo quality. It's built in China, but this higher one is built in uh, Gothenburg. The sport wagon, which you like, it's built in, in uh, Belgium. So I think uh, they are all three Volvos and built in our uh, global production network. So I think the business case also, of course, is very interesting to demonstrate that we can use our Chinese factories also for customers in the U.S. The business case is fascinating, but how difficult will quality control be building cars in China? Uh, I mean, quality control, of course, is a challenge. We set up a whole new factory and it's built totally according to Volvo standards. I mean, we are absolutely convinced that we will have exactly the same quality from those cars as the ones we, we roll out from Ghent in Belgium or Gothenburg. Uh, but of course it uh, required huge investments. It's not something you can do in a present factory. You have to build a whole new factory and then they introduce all new Volvo processes, of course. So speaking of investments, uh, there's so much pent-up demand, I feel like, in the U.S. for new products from Volvo. Will you possibly build a factory here? Is it, this a good place to manufacture the, the cars? Um, long term, I mean, that's something, of course, that we have never ruled out. But I, uh, right now, I think it's absolutely important for us also to say now we just have to concentrate on coming back to a, a reasonable level here of uh, volume. Uh, we have to come back to more than 100,000 in the midterm. And to do that, we need new products. And I think that's really what we want to demonstrate. Here we have example of of two new cars uh, we showed already in Los Angeles, two others. So, I mean, second half of this year, we'll have four new cars for the U.S. consumers. And that's what we want to highlight here. Will you be able to meet demand? I mean, I've heard so many people say they want to get a hold of this new XC90. Um, it's not coming out until the middle of this year. Will you have enough? Uh, I hope we will. Uh, have enough but I mean it's always good with a very good demand and I mean I think we are above expectations there. we already have 6,000 uh, customer orders for this new car before it's even started being built so I think that's that's a very positive sign. All right Hakon thanks so much uh, for spending some time with us really appreciate Hakon Samuelson from Volvo